All right, hello, welcome to Review Roulette. This is a new series where basically we're going to review a movie at random and we're going to review it based on arbitrary <laughs> categories. As one should. So essentially, like, the idea is you could have a movie you really love, but then you have categories that are just, like, just don't work for it at all, and then suddenly you're rating it, like, 4 out of 10. Mm -hmm. You're like, love this movie, 4 out of 10. 4 out of 10, best movie ever. And it's going to be... We pick the movie, and then we're going to pick three topics to judge it on. And there's 12 topics in total right now. I'm trying to think of more. but um, And then we'll judge it on three and find the average of that. We'll each have our own scores. Mm -hmm. So first, we're going to pick a movie. Maybe, all right. I don't even know what ones are in there. I'm pumped for this. Yeah, these are all currently movies I haven't seen, or there's like one or two eyes I haven't finished. I don't. He could probably possibly have seen them already, but we'll see. Alright, let's see what we got. Okay. Michael Jackson's This Is It. Oh, that's wonderful. Have All you right. seen that? I have not. <laughs> Alright. This is going to be awesome. This is going to be great. Oh, Michael man. Jackson's This Is It. I like how it doesn't show yeah, it, it doesn't though. Show. Yeah, I'm going to do that every time now. Yeah, just like, hey, it. you can't see it, but there it is. Oh, Michael Jackson. Oh, oh. oh. Um, that'll be interesting, because there's, there's a sex appeal topic in here. Nice. I really hope um, we get that one. If we get that, I'm just going to give him 10 out of 10 <laughs> that off the bat. Like, I'm not... Okay, so there's like, I think there's 12 in here, mm -hmm. and we're going to pick, pick three. Yeah. All right. Pick one first. Pick one first. All right, I was going to pick uh, four This is what we're going to be reviewing it based on. All right, so the first category is setting. Setting. <laughs> Great. All right. And his, uh... We're probably like... <laughs> what, was, what was this theme park called? Well, theme park like behind Play, his house? Playland. <laughs> Michael Jackson's Playland. Michael Jackson's Playland or something like that. Let's um, see. Yeah, he had a theme park. Plot. Plot. <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh, I think he's going to get a oh, high no. ranking. All right, I hope this one is uh, action. How good the fight scene is. <laughs> and Michael Jackson uh, punches that reviewer. Ugh. Replay value. Okay, so that, that's essentially just, would you watch it again? Oh, I'd watch this again and again. <laughs> All right. All right, we'll see you on the flip side, babes. I'm going to take that out. Take that out. I'm going to take that out. That's, that's the movie. Oh, okay, yeah, we can. Yeah, we every every guest gets to watch <laughs> Michael Jackson. They're actually all Michael Jackson's. This is it. That, oh, that's a good conspiracy. I switch them out every time. There's the movie I have it's like, fabricated. Oh, no, it's Michael Jackson's. This is it Ugh. again. Who'd have thought? All right, so we'll see you after we, we're actually going to watch the movie now. All right, bye-bye. So you pause the video, yeah, go yeah. watch the movie. Yeah, you go watch the mm -hmm. movie as well. Hey, watch me, and then come it's back. It's a really, <laughs> really excessively involved serious to watch. Yeah, like, it, you won't get what we're talking about without having seen the film. That's fine, though. I'm mean, sure we won't spoil much. I think you know how his story ends. The guy I think I know how yeah. it ends. So, right. He lives on. Alright. All right. Oh. Ooh. Okay, we just watched Michael Jackson's This Is It. It was an experience. A yeah. passionate gift, you could say. I mean... What, I mean, it was pretty much this like concert. It was like practice footage, rehearsal footage mm -hmm. for this concert. Yeah, so our that. three our three categories were setting, replay value, and plot is what we're reviewing it based on. Uh, let's see. wonderful categories for this sort of film. We're each going to reveal our scores for each. Okay, first, uh, let's uh, let's talk about the plot. Let's talk about the plot. All right. Um. <laughs> it's hard to follow the plot because there wasn't much. It was really mostly footage. Some, I mean, there was dancers were picked at one point. Mm -hmm. we, we knew he was good to work with, so there was. Yeah, uh, was, we kind of got to see some of the production behind, like like individual songs. We got to see like little mini plots of, mm -hmm. like the prep for the concert. I also don't know if this concert ever actually occurred. I don't think it did. I don't think, I don't think any of it occurred. If anything, it was maybe like the beginning of it, but. Yeah, I don't know. but um, but there was like different subplots through like the the videos they played. Like there's mm -hmm. the, the nature subplot. There was the one in the in the bar. Uh -huh, there place. was a very uh, touching subplot when his earpiece wasn't uh, working properly. <laughs> uh, it was a beautiful subplot. Yeah, uh, they fixed it. So overall, what do you give uh, the score for the plot? <laughs> I gave the plot a two out of ten. Okay. Um, I would have liked one thing. I think could have done better. I never knew like 
it was hard to follow. Like, did a lot of gumps. Like, what stage are you working on? Again, like, would like to know what 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 in the end happened with this concert. Yeah. Uh, and like, like there's there really wasn't a plot. Yeah, I guess they didn't want to dwell on the negativity. Mm-hmm. Of it. They just wanted it to be like the legacy of this is what he was going out on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, not I end it with like um, rest in peace, yeah. all this. Mm-hmm. Rip. You know? Rest in R.A.P. in peace. So I gave it a 3 out of 10. Okay. Because they did have some subplots within the videos Mm -hmm. around there, so it was good. Alright, for the setting, we uh, found ourselves in in, in various stages, I think, because, I mean, it was a concert. Yeah, various stages. Uh, There were some points where we got to travel around the world. Uh, We got to go to a, a nice forest. Yeah, and there was various clips of animals and like polar bears in mm-hmm. the Arctic and uh, nice graveyard scene for thriller. Yeah, there was a there's that nature thing you were talking about. They were in some mm-hmm. sort of forest or jungle. The little girl that was interesting. Um, there was this the smooth criminal. Smooth like criminal scene. Yeah. There's a nice scene when he was driving in a little vehicle, like one of the airport vehicles. That was nice. I enjoyed yeah. that. So I gave the setting a six out of ten. Okay. Because I don't think they could have done much better with the setting. <laughs> I think yeah, they're kind of cons- they're kind of constrained, constrained with where they're gonna mm-hmm. they're gonna place it. I gave setting a seven out of ten. Okay. Uh, one thing I did really like uh, because apparently I guess he practiced on a bunch of different stages or like it was different levels of production. I liked how they would like they would like jump between the different settings like in the same song. The transition, I thought it was cool. Yeah. I like the transition between the settings for so I thought that was cool with the, for what they had to work with. I enjoyed that. Mm-hmm. Um, but I do like seeing our scores are saying nice and close. Yeah. So let's see. We got replay value. Replay value. Um, for me, I don't. I can't see myself watching this again because <laughs> it's just concert foot. I feel like this is only rewatchable by like super fans, mm-hmm. if any. But even then, I feel like there's more footage, like more better footage. But this is, I guess, like his last moments almost caught on tape. So. Mm-hmm. So it was good in that regard, but I can't see myself watching again. Yeah, I gave it a 6 out of 10 for this one. I do agree with Zach. I don't think I would watch it again, but I think if I were to watch it again, it wouldn't be, like, boring. Because, again, it's not like I'm going through the same plot against us. I'm hearing all songs, I'm seeing cool stuff. But I think it definitely has a very high replay value for people that really like Michael Jackson. Yeah, so I gave it 5 out of 10. So then that brought me to an average of 4.67 out of 10. (laughs) My average was 5 out of 10. Uh, my numbers wow, out. that's really nice. close. It was really close, yeah. We had a... We, we, did, we didn't even consult about this beforehand, so... No, yeah, we... Uh, we just scored it. And that's how it goes, man. Keeping our secret little notes here, like, uh, that the movie was funky fresh, which is an important note about this movie. Yeah, I mean... Overall, it's, like, it's nice to have that as, uh, his last moments kind of caught on tape. Mm. More personable... You know, you can see a little bit of his creativity, his creative interaction with other people. I think it was really cool. Like, I know personally, I'm not like a big Michael Jackson fan. Like, I like his music, but I don't like know him. And it was cool to see like him as a person interacting. Mm-hmm. That. So yeah, that's that. That's all. First, uh, first movie review. Michael Jackson's this is it. So let me know what you think, and also any uh, potential topics for the future of review roulette because I mean I have 12 total so it's possible I have it already if you say it but it, it can be anything from serious to, to silly topics it doesn't matter but as long as it's something that's that we can have an opinion on at least so alright so thank you for watching